There are a few different types of making negative form in English, such as you make a negative form with do or does, or making negative form with to be, am, is, are, and another one you make a negative form with comment. Like for example, don't do this, don't do that, or no speaking, no talking, something like that. So in Khmer also the same, we have like a few different types of making negative form in Cambodian. So the same in English. We have like negative form with do does, we have negative form with to be, am, is, are, and we also have a negative form with common as well. So actually, I already have one lesson that teach you how to make a negative form with do does already on my YouTube channel. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to make a negative form with comment. So in this lesson, you will learn how to make a negative form with don't. And another one, you will learn how to make a negative form with no and then plus verb ing. Like for example, when you make a negative with don't, like for example, you tell someone not to do something like don't do this, don't do that, don't go, don't lie to me, something like that. This is the first point. And the second point, you're going to learn how to make a negative form with no plus verb ing. Like for example, no smoking that you always see all, the, all of these signs on the wall at the restaurant or somewhere else that uh, they, they try to tell someone not to do something. Like, okay, no smoking. And then uh, when you go to the shopping mall, some shop, uh, they have a sign on their, on their product. They say, uh, no touching, no testing, something like that. Okay, so in this lesson, you're gonna, you, you, you're gonna learn all of this. And then next time or next lesson, I'm going to prepare another lesson for you with negative. But uh, uh, next lesson, we're going to learn how to make a negative with to be, am, um, is, are. Okay, so now let's get started with me together. Okay, so now we start with uh, don't. Nah? Okay, we start with don't, don't do. Okay, so if you make a negative for comment like this, in Khmer, you have to say com. You see? Com. Actually, from previous lesson or from the old lesson that I have like on YouTube, uh, we already learned how to make a negative form with do or does already. So in that case, we use art and then finish with te, right, in the sentence. But in this case, okay, for negative like this, we start with com, and then we don't have the word te at the end anymore. Okay, but, so again, when you make a negative like this, negative for comment, you start with the word com, com. Okay, so now let's see the example together. Don't speak with me. So you see, don't speak with me. So in Khmer, Kom ni yei chia mui khnyom. Kom ni yei chia mui khnyom. Ba, okay, so, ni yei is to speak and chia mui is with and khnyom is me. Ba, kom ni yei chia mui khnyom. It is a comment to tell someone not to speak with me. Okay, now let's see another example. Don't lie to me or don't tell me a lie. Okay, in Khmer we say Kom put or ko ha khnyom. Okay, so for the word put or ko ha, it means to lie. To lie. Okay, so you can use both. Né? You can use put or you can use ko ha. Okay, the same. Okay, again. Kom put khnyom or kom ko ha khnyom ba don't lie to me. Okay, another example. Don't look at me. Okay, don't look at me. Okay, so in Khmer, kom mơ khnyom. Na, kom mơ khnyom ba so mơ it means to look ba to look ba. So, come work, don't look at me. Okay, so this is the first negative form for comment. I mean, don't do anything. Okay, don't do something like that. 
Okay, now let's go to the second point, negative for comment as well, but we use no and then plus verb ing. I mean, no doing something. Okay, so if you make a negative form like this, in Khmer, you use the word ham. Okay, not kom na, it's different. Kom means don't do, but when you use no doing something, you use ham. Ham. Okay, so now let's see the example together. No smoking. You see that you always see everywhere they 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 have this sign on the wall, okay, to tell someone not to smoke here. Okay, so we say no smoking, but actually the whole meaning is no smoking cigarette, right? Okay. So in Khmer we say ham chua barai. Ham chua barai. Okay, so chua I mean the word to smoke. The word to smoke. But in Khmer language, you know already, we always use nyam in polite way. Okay, so I can say everything you, 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 you can eat, you can smoke, or you can put into your mouth. Okay, uh, the, the, the polite word, we always use nyam. Like, for example, uh, drink coffee. You can say eat coffee is nyam cafe. Smoke cigarette, you can say eat cigarette. Nyam barai. Okay, cigarette is barai, ne? Cigarette is barai. And like medicine as well, you say take medicine. But in Khmer, you can say eat medicine. But so medicine, we say nam. So when you say take a medicine or take medicine, you say nyam tnam. Ne? Nyam tnam. Okay. So in polite way, we always use nyam all the time. Okay. So this sentence again, I can say ham nyam barai. Ne? I mean, no eating cigarette. But, okay. So you see, uh, we use ham. Ne? We don't use gom anymore. But we say ham. Chu or ham nyam barai okay so barai is secret okay next example no laughing no laughing okay so like maybe in the room uh, you want to be quiet and then you say oh no laughing okay so laugh in khmer we say sao sao ba Sight. So no laughing. Ham sight. Ham sight. I'm not joking, right? <laughs> Ham sight. Okay, next one. No crying. Okay, no crying. I mean, like some parents, uh, they tell they tell their kids, mm, no crying, eh? No crying. Okay. So in Khmer we say ham yum. Ham yum ba. So yum is uh, is to cry. Yum. Okay, next one. Okay, the same. We use the same word. No lying. Okay. So when you would like to tell someone, oh, the, no lying. Uh, no lying to me. Okay, you can say like that. So in Khmer, you say ham put or ham ko ha. Okay, this word we learned from previous sentence already. Okay, put or ko ha, it means to lie. So when you say no lying, Ham put or ham go hot. Eh? I don't like. Okay, you can say like that. Okay. Okay, that's all for this lesson. And I hope you understand clearly about this. If you have any question or still not clear about this, please let me know in the comment below. And then I'm going to come for you in the next lesson.